So in general, intuition is something in general, intuition is something really to listen to. It's very trustworthy. It comes from our own inner knowing. It's absolutely a voice, a power, a knowing that you want to cultivate. The dilemma comes in that a lot of times we think something is actually intuition and really it's just fear or desire. So someone may say, oh, I have an intuition that I'm supposed to be really rich. Can you help me get there? I have an intuition I'm supposed to be president of the country. Maybe. I'm not the intuition police. I can't tell you exactly whether that's true or not, but I would say probably it's more likely that that's a desire than an intuition. In the case of your friend who had this intuition the day before her marriage that she shouldn't get married, maybe it was an intuition. Maybe it was just premarital jitters. Maybe it was just the, oh my God, am I making the worst mistake of my life? Jitters. Most people unless they are significantly older, have been dating or even living together for years and years and years and years and years, and the marriage is just a formality. Most other people have some aspect prior to a marriage of, oh my God, is this the right decision? Oh my God, what if I make a horrible mistake? Now, in the West, where there's much more of a tradition of divorce, people may think, well, all right, anyway, it's a wrong decision, I'll get divorced. In Indian tradition, it's much more difficult because there's such a stigma about it. There's such a taboo about it, and you're sort of expected to live in any circumstance, regardless of how awful it may be. And so, for an Indian woman to have pre-wedding jitters or pre-wedding terrors or a sense of, I'm not supposed to do this, doesn't surprise me at all. I would imagine that almost all of them have it. Again, though, I can't get in your friend's mind. I can't tell you whether it was just the fear that probably they all have and certainly should have because you don't know or whether it really was intuition. The dilemma is, at this point, it doesn't actually matter because she married him. And so now the question becomes whether it was simply fear or actually intuition, she's now married. And now she needs to decide what to do. Assuming that the relationship is not harmful for her, meaning that she's not being abused in any way, not sexually, not physically, not emotionally, not psychologically, not spiritually. And it's just a matter of maybe an annoying mother-in-law or a matter of some different views on, you know, day-to-day -day living things and you get general conflict and, you know, in that case, I would try to advise her to figure out how to make it work because she's in it. And she will learn a lot of valuable lessons in learning how to make something that doesn't feel 100% perfect, how to make it work. No relationship is perfect. We've always got to work on it. There's always compromise. There's always things about the other person that you wish were different. But if the relationship is actually one in which she's being harmed on any level, thwarted on any level, repressed on any level, suppressed on any level, she may seriously want to think about getting out. And I know that's not a really popular view in India, and yet, I think it's important. Um, I think as, 
as cultures shift and society shifts and values shift, that the, the emphasis on staying together, which is beautiful and wonderful and amazing and I am in awe of the resilience of so many Indian relationships. I think that the space for women or men to leave relationships that are not just difficult and annoying, but actually harmful to them in some way in which they are actually being repressed, oppressed, suppressed, harmed. There needs to be space for every person to be able to, to live in an environment that enables them to blossom. And again, that doesn't mean that everybody's in-laws are going to support everything you do. But it means that there is the spaciousness and the freedom to do that without being pushed down on any level or belittled on any level. And so your friend may, may want to really think about that. Um, I don't know how new the marriage is. She may want to give it some time, especially if she's not actually being harmed in it. You know, give it some time. It takes a while to work out the kinks, especially in a situation if you don't know each other in advance, especially in the situation when you're marrying families and not just people. You know, give it a little bit of time. But if after some time you realize, oh my God, this is a harmful situation, for my body, for my mind, for my spirit, for my heart. She may want to consider getting out. And I would hope that she would be supported in doing that. 